वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज री अफोन पाकिस्तान कंप्लीट सोलिडारिटी विद द फलस्टीनियन पीपल रे ग्रुप ऑफ चाइना हैज अनाउंसड टू स्टैब्लिश टेक्सटाइल पार्क ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड इन पाकिस्तान अंडर द फैसिलिटेशन ऑफ ए स्पेशल इन्वेस्टमेंट फैसिलिटेशन काउंसिल एट ख्वारिज व खिल्ड ड्यूरिंग इंटेंस एक्सचेंज ऑफ फायर बिटवीन सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज एंड ख्वारिज इन रजमक एरिया ऑफ नॉर्थ वजूरिस्तान डिस्ट्रिक्ट लास्ट नाइट OIC contact group on Kashmir has reaffirmed its support for Kashmiri people's legitimate struggle for their right to self-determination. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has reaffirmed Pakistan's complete solidarity with the Palestinian people. Talking to the media after his meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in New York, he said the hearts of people of Pakistan beat with the hearts of Palestinian people. The Prime Minister strongly condemned Israeli atrocities in Gaza over the last one year. He said this kind of barbarism has not been witnessed by mankind for ages. He emphasized that the time has come to unitedly demand an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the creation of state of Palestine without which peace cannot be restored. in the region Shahbaz Sharif asserted that the sacrifices of the Palestinian people will not go in vain and will ultimately lead to an independent state of Palestine In his remarks Mahmoud Abbas acknowledged that Pakistan has consistently supported the Palestinian cause Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif in a statement expressed satisfaction over approval of the International Monetary Fund's package of 7 billion dollars for Pakistan He said that the process of economic reforms is underway and after attaining economic stability efforts will continue to achieve the goals of economic growth and development. He said besides notable diplomatic accomplishments another significant achievement is surge in foreign remittances sent by Pakistani expatriates. The prime minister thanked the friendly countries especially Saudi Arabia, China and the United Arab Emirates for extending support concerning the IMF package. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Ataullah Tarar says government's prudent policies are yielding positive results in the form of decline in inflation and stability in prices of daily commodities. Speaking at a presser in New York, he said reforms are being implemented to augment economic growth and provide relief to people. The information minister said Chinese Huawei company will impart training to 300,000 students in Pakistan while Google has assured to increase its investment. He said during meeting with Bill Gates, programs for IT training for the youth were discussed. The Rui Group of China has announced to establish textile parks of international standard in Pakistan under the facilitation of a special investment facilitation council. The textile parks which will be established in Sindh and Punjab are part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project with the aim to further augment relations and enhance economic cooperation between the two countries. Eight Khwarij were killed during intense exchange of fire between security forces and Khwarij in Razmak area of North Waziristan district last night. According to ISPR, the security forces conducted an intelligence-based operation in Razmak area of North Waziristan district last night on reported presence of Khwarij. Weapons and ammunition were also recovered from killed Khwarij who remained actively involved in terrorist activities against security forces as well as target killings of innocent civilians. The OIC contact group on Kashmir has reaffirmed its support for the Kashmiri people's legitimate struggle for their right to self-determination and firmly rejected India's leaders' unwarranted claims over Azad Jammu and Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. A joint communique after the meeting in New York also underscored that the Indian parliamentary polls or legislative assembly elections in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir cannot serve as a substitute for granting the right to self-determination. to the kashmiri people it emphasized that durable peace and stability in south asia remain contingent upon the final settlement of the kashmir dispute in accordance with un security council resolutions and the aspirations of the kashmiri people 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.